traditionalism. And this is an area that uh, I cover a lot, uh, especially with women that call in and I spend 45 minutes with on a Zoom call. Um, the interesting thing that I'm finding out, and I've talked to hundreds of, of couples, women, single men, single women, is women want a traditional man. They want a man to be a provider and protector. They want a guy, they want chivalry to open the door, to be a gentleman. All of these things, and yet I turn around and they don't want they don't want to act like a traditional woman. They want to act like a modern day woman with the wrong mindset and attitude. Now, you can come and attack me. I'm just telling you what guys want. And you can say, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Because I'm a man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a high value man. I know what we want. And this is why a lot of women are still single. And they're mad because what they want, they can't have and what they can have, they don't want because they've outleveled themselves. They've overvalued themselves. It's kind of like when you see these funny videos of, I use the car analogies, and it's not to, uh, to deify women or, or, you know, talk bad about women, but I'm a guy. Guys get this, you know. It's like, you know, you got, you got a guy that has this car, and he thinks it's a Rolls Royce, and it's, a, you know, a Honda. Nothing wrong with a Honda, but. It's not a Rolls Royce. It's not worth $100,000. It's a Honda. And so these women will call and they're like, I'm frustrated. Tell me your situation. Talk to them for 45 minutes. That's my session. It's 45 minutes. And they'll sit, sit here and tell me their situation, their problems. And nine times out of 10, they're going for a high value man and they're an average woman or below average woman as far as value, looks, what they bring to the table. The other scenario I get are these young hotties that are in their late 20s, early 30s telling me they don't need a man. They're still out there, you know, showing their boobs and ass on Instagram, non-traditional, by the way. And, and they say men are, men are trash, men are no good, and they want a 1% man, and 1% man doesn't want them. And they get mad at me, and I tell them, no. They say, oh, I can get any man I want. Well, if you can get any man you want, the guy you described, you can't even have because he's going to use you and abuse you and then throw you in the trash. He's not going to wifey you up. Look at your Instagram. Unless he can handle it. My girl's Instagram is pretty sexy, but I can handle it. I can deal with that. I'm not on there by my choice. It kills her momentum. It kills her, her algorithms if I show up there. She's on mine. Most guys can't handle that. But I know my value. I know my worth. I know I can go out and meet somebody else if she steps out. But I get these girls that are fitness, this and that, this and that, and it's like, this girl's been single for three, I don't, I don't need a man, I'm gonna do my career, blah, blah. You're gonna be 35, 36, 37 years old. You ain't married, you wanna get married and have kids. You're getting close to the age where you can have birth complications with a baby, and you're standing there running around like you think you got all the time in the world, the clock's ticking, ladies. The clock is ticking and you get mad at me because I'm telling you the truth. There's a reason you're single and the young girls justify it and say they don't need a man. Then they end up on TikTok videos in their late 30s, 40s crying because they hit the wall. They're crying because they know what they should have done and they were too busy showing their butt and their boobs on Instagram. So. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm giving you a reality check. I'm trying to help you. I help people, single people, understand where their value and worth is. Nine times out of 10, men undervalue themselves. Nine times out of 10, women way overvalue themselves. And then they come back with all, oh, I got my own money, blah, blah, blah. I got this, I got my own money, I got this and that. Dude, high value men don't care. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. I'm telling you the facts because you're not us. And I'm telling you, you aren't somebody we would date because of that attitude. We don't need that attitude. Now, an average guy, there's nothing wrong with average men that makes average income, decent guy, wants to work hard, take care of his family. But the problem is these women that overvalue themselves don't want an average dude. 
And then they sit there and they start rotting away with all their cats and complaining about men and attack me on social media. Makes no sense.